fill and now let's try to tap on the enter button and this will open your application so here this is our home page which is been opened when you try to tap on the basic command here and which specifies to open the application and the next thing what i want to do is like i just want to redirect to profile page so i'm specifying slash profile and when i tap here you can see it is being redirected to the profile page now in this vlog we are going to see the implementation of deep linking concept in your flutter application so in our previous tutorials we have seen the deep linking implementation and we have tested in android device so in this part of the tutorial we are going to test the implementation in ios application so if you have not watched our previous tutorials i am going to provide the links for this tutorial in the description section below and i also suggest you to watch these tutorials before getting started and the code for this particular tutorial i will be providing you in the description section below so i suggest you to watch this tutorial till the end and then get started with the implementation the first thing i would like to show you here is like the dependency which we require so here i'm going to make use of a gorotter dependency here and why i am making use of a gorotter dependency is to make the navigation very much easier and simplified for the beginners even so even the beginners can easily get started with this particular tutorial and try to implement deep linking concept in your flutter based ios applications and also the important thing to be noted in this particular tutorial is the schema which we are going to specify and i will be discussing more on it in the tutorial as we proceed with the implementation so now let's get started with this particular tutorial and the first thing here we are going to deal with is like creation of a class and try to specify rotors and also try to specify the paths for this class with the help of a go rotor dependency which we have added so let's get started with the importing material dot dot here and the next thing here we are going to import the go rotor dependency which we have added at the initial stage of this particular tutorial so let us get started with void main here and try to specify run app over here and now get started with the creation of a go rotor class here so go rotor here i am going to specify and with the help of this particular go rotor dependency we are going to specify the paths now so here we need to specify the root base over here and this is the first root in our application so make sure you specify this particular root by a forward slash here so let us try to make use of go root widget here and try to specify the path here and the path for the first root will always be a forward slash so just remember forward slash states that the home page or the index page of your application and if you are a web developer you might be familiar with this particular forward slash implementation in your web pages so now the second thing we need to specify is like a path where it should go so with the help of a builder we are going to specify the exact class which needs to be opened up when you specify the forward slash so let us try to specify the context and the corotor state here as a parameters and here we are going to return the class which needs to be opened when you when you try to call this particular path here so the the class which needs to be opened for me is like home screen so i'm just going to specify home here and i have not specified the implementation of this particular home screen till now so let us try to create a file for home screen here i am just specifying like home here and again the same thing which we do for every class here so import material dot art and i'm going to specify a stateless widget and this is home here and instead of a placeholder i am going to specify center here so center widget and inside which i am going to consider a text field which states like a home page so home screen i am going to specify here and so yeah that's it uh, for this particular home.tart file here 
and I'm going to cop uh, okay so, and yes we have specified capital H over here and do remember like we need to make use of small case letters and I'm going to copy the same home dot dot file here and again I'm going to create one more uh, class here it's like profile and now profile dot dot here and try to change and now let's try to make use of these two classes in our main dot dot file so let's try to import home dot dot here and the second thing is like profile dot dot here and now we have got our home class now and let's try to align the code properly and also you can just add it to the next line for proper visibility and let's try to specify one more root here so let us make use of roots here and again the same implementation which we have specified for our first root here so root base and now let us try to specify the second root again with the same go root, go root widget here and here for the path let us try to specify profile here so this time i am going to specify profile instead of forward slash because we are going to move into profile page now so now again the same thing we need to specify the builder here and this time we are going to return to profile page instead of home page and yes that's it so let's try to align the code properly and here we need not require any forward slash before to the profile or after to the profile here so just make sure you specify the path as i have specified here to avoid any issues or errors in your implementation so here i have just specified the context spelling wrong here just you need to add a t here again so it's a typo error and okay it will not cause any issue but it's a typo error so just rectify it and also we have specified run app here and also we need to have a class now so let us specify my app here and also we need to declare the my app over here so again a stateless widget and this is my app this time and instead of a constant placeholder i'm going to return material app and the actual implementation starts from here so just make sure here after material app you specify dot router here so why because right from the root of the application we are going to handle the navigation so again i'm explaining you while you open your application manually so not from the deep link or anything just you open you clicked on the icon of your application and open it so right from there we are making use of corotor to navigate to our home page so this is how our application works now and this navigation will be same for the manual flow and as well as the deep linking so it will be very easy for you to follow this particular path here and here you need to specify router configuration and here what you need to specify is this particular implementation which you have specified so just copy it and paste it over here and that's it you are done with the implementation so now let's try to open the simulator and try to test it so and before getting any further i need to also specify one more important thing over here when without this particular implementation you cannot proceed any further in the deep linking implementation in the deep linking implementation so what is that important concept is you need to redirect to info.plist file and how you can get to this particular file i will show you here so here in the project structure just try to concentrate here on the project structure and in the ios folder here you need to expand the runner directory here and here you will find the info.plist file so just try to open it and try to concentrate from the 51 from the line number 51 here so cf bundle url types so here the type of the url the schema here which we are going to specify is a key concept in this particular tutorial so here amplifyab.com is my domain and i'm going to specify my domain here and try to call this particular domain while i am implementing the deep link and the same here which i have specified for application query schema here 
and so from line number 51 to line number 66 so this is the important implementation you need to add in your info.plist file and if you are having any queries and if you want to configure it much further just let me know in the comment section below as i have said earlier so this is a basic implementation of deep linking in flutter based diverse application so i am trying to specify the basic requirements and if you want to enhance it much more just let me know in the comment section below i will surely try to help you so here the domain is the most important thing and you can specify your own domain and for the testing purpose you can just specify like abc.com or example.com as well because we are just testing it in our ide level here so this is like a platform implementation for ios application and it is a must for you to to be configured before testing this particular implementation so now let's try to open the ios simulator here and try to run our application and our simulator is now up and running and now we are trying to run this particular code on our device so in this particular implementation you might face some issues while trying to launch the application on your simulator so like your dependencies might be outdated or your flutter version or your dart version and sometimes your id might be outdated like xcode you require right so just try to run flutter document flutter doctor command in your terminal and try to verify whether all your required dependencies are up to date or not and here you can see we have got an error like expected a function body here so yes this is in the void main and here you can see our application is now installed on the simulator and we have got like a home screen now specified onto the screen so i've just specified right so this is a basic implementation so here you can see our home screen is now loaded onto the application so here you can see we have redirected to the home screen now why because we have not specified any material app over here so this is why we are getting this particular just a text appearing in the place of a home screen and i will quickly try to wrap it with a material app over here so here we have written a material app and in the home let us try to specify scaffold here and inside the scaffold let us try to specify app bar here and for the app bar let us try to specify the title with the help of a text widget and this one is like home i am going to specify and i would like to cut this particular child here and here after the app bar let us try to specify the body section here and here i am going to specify a center widget again and here inside which i am going to paste the previous implementation which we have so the same thing which i am going to implement in profile screen as well and here now our both home and profile screen is now updated and let's try to restart the code or you can just save the code so that it gets updated in our simulator so here we are done with the implementation so here you can have the view of both simulator and the id now so here this is a path which you need to specify in the terminal and also here this is a schema which we have specified in the info.plist file so i specified the schema as well and now let's try to tap on the enter button and this will open your application so here this is our home page which is been opened when you try to tap on the basic command here and which specifies to open the application and the next thing what i want to do is like i just want to redirect to profile page so i'm specifying slash profile and when i tap here you can see it is being redirected to the profile page now and you might get a question like from home screen we are going to profile so can we open the profile screen directly so why let just try to test it so i have completely closed the application and try to rerun the same query here and here our profile screen is now opened up so this is the way of implementing deep link so here this is a basic way of implementing deep link in your flutter application and i think you found this tutorial interesting and just let me know in the comment section below your queries in this particular tutorial and the code for this tutorial is provided in the description section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter